for all of you that just saw Nathaniel's latest video and inspired me to do one. Isn't that cool to be inspired by your own brother and your business partner and one of your best friends? Thank you, Nathaniel, for doing that. And uh, I thought it was really profound how subject specific he was about a subject that he's passionate about. So I'm going to do the same. And he did it in one take. Let's see if I can do it in one take. <laughs> and Diana's waiting on me. Anyways, enough fluff. So, this video is going to be about the ultimate life hack, which is basically a shift in perspective, um, a deep knowing and understanding and awareness on the paradox and the duality of your low points. And I want you to consider or ask yourself, is a low point really a low point? if it's the place where you can learn the most from. Especially if you believe life is about learning to love and loving to learn. Now, same thing, maybe a low point in the sense of your interaction with another person, known as what may some people describe as a resentment. Now, if I resent someone, I believe that they're reflecting something that I don't like about myself or they're reflecting something that I don't have that I want in my life. So once you come to that understanding, maybe a resentment is actually a misguided appreciation for them reflecting something you want to change about yourself or you don't like about yourself or reflecting something that you want in your life that you don't have. And instead of resenting that person, you can actually appreciate them and you can love them for that. So that life hack being to realize that our low points may not be low points, they may actually be a high point. And that our resentments may really not be a negative thing, but they might just be a misguided form of love. And it is a piece of the puzzle to teach us how to love ourselves even more and love others and love God. Now how's that? How's the idea that next time you get angry or sad or any other kind of emotion to realize that you're letting your energy come out and it's a good thing. It's no longer, depression may just be anger or sadness or some other kind of emotion turned inwards. So when you get have a resentment and you get angry, I highly encourage you to express it, but to also realize that that's you being fully alive and it's a it's an opportunity to learn a lot and to grow a lot. And that goes with how you feel about yourself and that goes with how you feel about others. So how, what's, that's, that's a, some kind of immunity, isn't it? To realize that you can go around and you can look forward to challenges. You can look forward to the tough times. Just like when you're biking, going uphill or going downhill. Where do you get the strength? Where do you gain strength? Where do you get stronger? Where do you get better? It may not feel like the most fun right now going biking uphill, but if you switch your perspective to the goal being learning to love and loving to learn and growing, living to grow and growing to live, then maybe biking uphill will be your new favorite part. Whew, it's tricky. All right, hopefully, hopefully you got half or more out of that video compared to Nathaniel's. Cause I'm, I experience jealousy sometimes. <laughs> and plus, how easy is it to be nice to someone that's nice to us? Or how easy is it to love someone that loves us or treats us fairly that treats, uh, that, and we treat them fairly? It's, that's the easy route. Anyone can do that. The trick is, when someone's coming at you hard, when someone's challenging, wants to challenge you, firstly, you need to realize that you're responsible for how you react to them. That all of us have the same problems. We're all going to die. Um, actually, a guy that I met at the men's conference, I just found out he passed away in pursuit of his passion, hiking in Brazil or something like that. And it was a really a heart-wrenching story. It brought tears to my eyes. But it was a reminder of the fragility of life and how precious life is and that 
right now, the first time you're right, right now, you who's watching this for the first time is dead. That person is dead. You can watch it again for the second time, and then that you'll be dead to that time. Right now, me doing this on camera, I'm dying in this moment. This moment is leaving me. It's a, uh, it might be a, a cliche idea about the present moment being a gift, but it really is. We're, you can always be super stoked and excited to be alive because what you're experiencing in the moment, right now, what you're experiencing and right now watching this, and right now the experience of me making this, I'll only be able to experience this once in my lifetime like this for the first time. I could try to repeat it, but right now I am fully alive. I am in this moment and this is it. This is it. This moment, as I'm saying, it's already passed. And that's a, that's a big concept. Um, so with the, realizing that, realizing how exciting it is to experience something for the first time, um, every time, that and the idea that you're responsible how for you how I how I feel that I make myself angry or I make myself sad or I make myself happy uh, around this person that everyone is going to have some kind of challenge faced at them but we all re we react in different ways and just because a lot of people find it more appropriate to only talk about the good things and wipe everything else under the rug we need people we need people to embrace their anger, embrace their sadness, talk about the things that people that typically don't talk about because those are some of the most universal things. These are some of the most universal things that we all face, but it's one of the least things we're talked about, so we get lost on how to react to them. So thank you for all the people that come to our retreats and our ambassadors that are willing to shed light on the shadows, to basically find that room in their house or in their body or their soul that attic, that like corner of the attic that no one wants to go in. Oh, that's like, let's just don't stay out there. There's too many cobwebs, too scary. There's no light. That they're going in there and they're turning that room into the best room in their house. Thank you all for that. And thank you for anyone that's willing to do that. And I know I'm getting off tangent, but that's me. <laughs> that's who I am. My stream of consciousness is sometimes chaotic. And that's how I need to be. I need to act how I feel so my energy is flowing and I'm congruent and I'm letting express like what come up to come out. <sighs> but yeah, all that being said, from what I started with was so with that opportunity of realizing that you're this is the one time, this is it, right now is now. The time is now. And that realizing you're in control of how you feel and how you react. That when someone comes at you or something comes at you that seems challenging or seems like it's a real stumbling block, turn it into a stepping stone. Turn that obstacle into an opportunity. That's when, you re that's when the real heroes come out. That's when it's your time to shine. It's like, oh man, I'm feeling really down. I'm feeling really depressed about this person or I'm feeling like I really need to escape. That's when you need to give them the most love. I made a video about love your haters and it's all about that. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video was subject specific enough and uh, join us on our next retreats. We got one coming up in Traverse City. Mm. She's laughing because she might not be coming. <laughs> that was just August 10th through the 14th slash 17th. We might have an extended uh, version. So it was sold out, but there might now be a space open. But anyways, hit us up if that's an opportunity for you. October 24th through 28th in Costa Rica. Uh, we're going to do a week in the Lake Tahoe in September the, for the first person to book. This is our first time we made a video announcement. So who's going to do Tahoe in September? September is probably the, our favorite month in uh, California. And I've never been to Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe is probably the number one place on my list that I want to go that I haven't been to in the United States. And in the Virgin Islands to kick off the new year. which.